going to avoid it by replacing it. You see, Paul said, avoid fornication by replacing it with a husband, with a wife. Avoid homosexuality by replacing it with a sexual pattern that is opposite. And a lot of people say, I'm not going to replace it. God's plan is to replace it. And some people even say, I'll trust God to keep me, but I won't replace it. There are women who are discouraged with their marriage. And they have made up their mind that they are not going to talk to their husband. Or they're not going to sleep in the same room. Or whatever. And they say, God, I'm not going to sin and I won't get a divorce. But I won't replace this terrible relationship with one that is approved and acceptable by God. I will establish this wall. And I'll maintain this wall. And God, I'll be true. I won't get a divorce. I'll be true. I won't go out with anybody. I'll be true. But I won't do that which avoids the destruction that Satan is bringing into my life. As Christians, every single one of us must recognize that God has a plan. His yoke is easy. His burden is light. And we should be asking God, not just make me stronger, but God, as much as lies within me, give me wisdom so that I can live without needing supernatural abundant strength just to get through the day. Can you understand what I'm saying? Do you see what I'm trying to bring to your heart tonight? That so many of us, we are asking God, make me strong, make me strong, make me strong. And many times, that prayer is valid. And sometimes that's the only way in that situation to make come through. But if you're living in an apartment and everybody's radio is unbelievably loud, and people are banging on the doors and asking you want to come down,